So here's the question. A ladder 25 feet long is leaning against the wall of a house. The base of the ladder is being pulled away from the wall at 2 feet per second. The rate at which the angle between the ladder, find the rate at which the angle between the ladder and the wall of the house is changing when the base of the ladder is 7 feet from the wall. So I gave some names to some um, measures here. I labeled this distance here the, from the base to base of the ladder to the base of the house is x. Uh, I gave the angle measure between the ladder and the wall and measure theta. We can see that uh, we'd have to just assume this is in a leaning tower of Pisa or anything like that. This is a very straight vertical house, so this angle down here would be a would be a right angle. So when you look at the problem like this. This is going to be a, uh, a rate problem, so you should be thinking of, of uh, what is here as a function of time. Theta is a function of time, and x is a function of time, and we can write theta as a function of x, and we'll, we'll use um, the chain rule when we take the derivative. Okay, so, well, we are, and we're going to find our derivative because we want to find the rate. That's another clue. So if I redraw this triangle like this, it might be easier to see, theta, x, and 25. The sine of theta is equal to x over 25. That's just the definition of theta. Now, a lot of people will write a subscript here, um, a small t, next to x and theta, and then we'll typically lose it as we keep going along, but this will remind us that theta is in fact a function of time and x is also a function of time. So now the next step is to take the derivative with respect to time of both sides of this equation and I'm just going to write a big ddt over here of everything. So what's the derivative with respect to time of the sine of theta? Well the derivative of the sine is cosine so we get cosine of theta times the derivative of theta with respect to time. That's the chain rule. And on the right-hand side, we get that this is the derivative with respect to time of this expression is 1 over 25. The constant could come out, and we get dx dt. Let's solve, uh, let's solve this just to make it look a little neater for what we are going for. Remember, we're going for the rate of change of theta with respect to time. So let's get this, all this other, uh, this cosine theta to the other side. So it's, we get d theta dt is equal to 1 over the cosine of theta times 1 over 25 times dx dt. So now what? Well, remember we want to know what the rate of change in theta with respect to time is at x equals 7. So let's find theta when x equals 7. If x equals 7, let's redraw this triangle with x equals 7. By the Pythagorean theorem, this side over here is going to be 25 squared minus 7 squared. Because remember the Pythagorean theorem says that um, this side squared plus this side squared equals this side squares, squared. And you would, if you use the Pythagorean theorem, so let's go uh, 25 squared minus 7 squared is 625 minus 49 and that is going to be 576 and that is the same as 24 squared so this side has got to be 24 um, so what's the cosine of theta when x equals 7 it's going to be 24 over 25 you can read it right off this triangle and we're doing 1 over that so 1 over 24 25ths is the same as 25 24ths times 1 over 25 
and we have dx dt. dx dt is right there. It's two feet per second. So this times, let's go back to green, times two. And that using our, just doing some cancellation here, we can find the answer a little faster. The 25s cancel. Um, the 2 cancels with the 24 leaves 12, so we get 1 12th. That is the change in theta with respect to time. This is 1 12th radian per second, or since radian is unitless, you would say this is, um, I guess, 1 12th. Per second. And that's it. I hope that was helpful.